What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. Okay, so let's start with this first example. 7 over 2. Okay, so this is your improper fraction, and we're trying to convert it to a mixed number. How can we do that? Well, fractions are just division problems. Okay, so 7 over 2, this is the same thing as saying 7 divided by 2. Okay, so let's just solve this. What is 7 divided by 2? Well, let's see. 2 goes into 7 3 times, right? And then 3 times 2 is 6. So 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay, so now that we did this division problem, we have all of our pieces to construct our mixed number. So first of all, the quotient up here is going to be the big number, also known as your whole number in your mixed number. And then this remainder right here is going to be your numerator, and then that's going to be over this divisor right here, which is going to be your denominator. And one other way you can figure out the sorting is, well, your quotient is the big number, right? Your remainder goes in the numerator, right? And whatever number you had in the denominator right here is also going to be the same number you put in the denominator right here. Okay, so that never changes. So that's a really easy way to check your answer. Okay, because whatever denominator you have here should be the exact same denominator you have here. Okay, so let's try one other example. What if we had 10 over 6? Okay, so again, fractions are just division problems. Okay, so 10 over 6 is the same thing as saying 10 divided by 6. Okay, so let's do 10 divided by 6. So 6 goes into 10 one time, and then 1 times 6 is 6, and then 10 minus 6 is 4. Okay, great. So we have all our parts to construct our mixed number. So remember, we're going to start with our big number, which is always this top number right here. So this 1 is going to be our big number. Our remainder is going to go on top. And whatever we had in the denominator right here is the same thing we're going to put in the denominator right here. Okay, so one last thing to check is to see if we can reduce our fraction right here. So 4 over 6, can we reduce this fraction? Well, we can because the top and the bottom are both divisible by the same number, which in this case would be 2, right? So the top is divisible by 2, and the bottom is also divisible by 2. So what would this equal? Well, on the top we would have 4 divided by 2, which is just 2. And then on the bottom we'd have 6 divided by 2, which is just 3. Okay, so this answer right here, 1 and 4, 6, we can reduce that to 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, so this would be your final answer. Okay, so now let's do a couple negative examples. Okay, what if we were asked to convert negative 7 over 2 to a mixed number? How would we do this? Well, something that's going to be really helpful for you is remembering how to divide negative numbers. And there's like two main rules, right? So when you have a negative number divided by a negative number, your answer is going to be positive. And then when you have a negative number divided by a positive number, or just flipping that, a positive number divided by a negative number, in both of these cases, your answer would be negative. Okay, so having these rules in mind are going to be really helpful for this problem. So whenever I have a problem like this, I literally just ignore the negative to begin with. And then I solve this like normal. Okay, so I have 7 over 2, so that again is the same thing as 7 divided by 2. And then I just solve this like normal. Okay, so 2 goes into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. And then 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay, so now I'm going to sort my mixed fraction. So this 3 up here, that's going to be my big number. My remainder down here goes in the numerator. And then whatever I had in the denominator here is the same thing I put in the denominator here. Okay, so 7 over 2 is equal to 3 and 1 half, right? But again, this isn't just 7 over 2. This is negative 7 over 2. 
So is my answer going to be positive or negative? Well, let's refer to our rules real quick. So we have a negative number divided by a positive number, right? So here we have a negative number divided by a positive number. So our answer should be negative. So then I just have to put a negative right here. So negative seven over two is equal to negative three and one half. So this would be your answer. Okay, let's try another example. What if we had 10 over negative six? So again, I'm just gonna ignore my negative sign for right now and just solve this like normal. Okay, so 10 over six, that's the same thing as 10 divided by six, right? Then six goes into 10 one time, then one times six is six, so then we have 10 minus six, which is four. So we can sort our answer now. So this top number right here is our whole number, right? Our big number. Our remainder goes in the numerator and that's gonna go over whatever denominator we had here, which was six. Okay, and four over six, can I reduce that? Yes, I can, right? Because the top and bottom are both divisible by two. So I'm gonna divide the top and bottom by two again. Four divided by two is two. Six divided by two is three. So I can reduce my answer right here down to one and two thirds. So 10 over six reduces down to one and two thirds, right? But remember, this isn't just 10 over six. This is 10 over negative six, right? So is that our answer positive or negative? Well, let's refer to our rules. So here we have a positive number over a negative number. So our answer is gonna be negative. So this is negative one and two thirds. Okay, let's try one more example. Okay, in this case, let's say we had negative 13 over negative five. So again, I'm just gonna ignore my negative signs for now, okay? Don't forget about them. We're just gonna hide them temporarily and we're just gonna solve this like normal. So we just have 13 over five, right? So we have 13 divided by five. Now, five goes into 13 two times, right? Two times five is 10, and then 13 minus 10 is three. Okay, so now we can sort this, right? So this number on top is gonna be our whole number, our big number. This remainder right here goes in our numerator, and that's gonna go over our original denominator right here, which was five, right? So over five. Now, can we reduce three over five anymore? No, because there's no number that we can divide evenly into both of these numbers, okay? So this is as reduced as that fraction can get. So 13 over five is equal to two and three fifths. But again, remember, this isn't just 13 over five. This is negative 13 over negative five. So should our answer be positive or negative? Well, let's refer to our rules real quick. So in this case, we have a negative number over a negative number, right? So our answer should be positive. So negative 13 over negative five is positive two and three fifths. All right guys, so that's how you convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's a whole pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need to check out, definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.